If you're looking for a power outlet that you can control with your tablet or your smartphone, this is one that you need to check out. This is the Orvibo Smart Socket. It's the S20 model. So let's take a close up look. So let's take a look at, at the box. Um, on the side of it, you've got a QR code. Uh, I'm assuming that when I scan this code, it's gonna take me to the app store where I can download the software that I need. It says it works with Google Play as well as the uh, Apple Store. So let's open this thing up. All right, inside we've got uh, one socket. Uh, it looks like it's got a button on it here. And then it's uh, got a protector on the plug in the ground. So I scanned the QR code and I downloaded an app called WeWoo, W-I-W-O, which is this one right here. And once you open it up, it'll say device list up at the top. Uh, there's a little plus for adding and then there's your menu over here, which would be where you could uh, look at your devices and there's some other options. So on, in my install, I've already actually set one of these up in my living room. If this was brand new, then there wouldn't be anything here. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to add the outlet to the app. You wanna plug your wireless outlet into a power outlet. And once you do that, it's gonna start flashing red. At this point, you wanna tap on the little plus up here at the top right, and it's gonna give you some options. We wanna set up a new S20 outlet, so you're gonna tap this. At this point, it's gonna tell you to um, press the device key until the device turns red. Actuality is as soon as you plug it in, it's gonna start flashing fast red. At this point, you wanna enter your Wi-Fi password, and then tap on the start configuring. It's gonna start a countdown. Okay, it says configuration is successful. Uh, all right, now it shows up as a socket as well as our living room lamp. And you'll notice once the socket is paired uh, to your Wi-Fi network, it goes to a solid red. At this point, since everything is paired, this is your on off button and you can just tap this and it'll slide to green on your app. And at the same time, the Wi-Fi outlet, the button turn, turns a, a blue color instead of the red. So then you just tap it again and it turns off the outlet. It's very easy for on and off. Now, if you want to actually um, program it, you tap on that and then you're gonna see where you can actually turn it on and off this way as well. But then there's some options up here for if you wanted to have a timer. So you could program the times very easy. Let's say we want to have this thing come on at, let's say, 6 o'clock, well, 6.40. Repeat every day. Save. So it's going to come on at 6.40 every day. Actually, the event needs to be to turn it on. And then we could create an off and say we wanted it to go off at 4.51 p.m. every day. And we got it set to off here. And then we just save it. And that's how you, uh, you program the on and off. So it's very simple. Uh, it also has some features of uh, like a countdown timer. So if you just want it on for so many minutes before it goes off or before it turns on. And then there's also an advanced here where you could set up a, a password lock if you would like to. Um, let's see. If we tap on the word up here, socket, we can actually rename this. So if we wanted to call, this one's gonna be the bedroom lamp. So that way it's easy to identify. And uh, now it's easy to see which one's the bedroom lamp and which one's the living room lamp. And as long as everything's able to connect to your Wi-Fi router, you'll be able to control everything from in the house. You can also control everything from outside your house, even if you're on like a, an LTE network somewhere. As long as you can access the internet and you have this app loaded, then you can control your house uh, from remote.